So hello everyone, welcome back to the GFG Pure Streak of Day 146 and let us start with the today's question. So today's question name is the second smallest number, it's a greedy, the tax given is the greedy as in VMware. So let us read the question. The task is to find the second smallest number with a given sum of digits as S and the number of digits as D. So if uh, if we have done the sheet of maybe 450 then this question is already present there in the greedy algorithm that find the smallest number with the given number of digits and the sum of digits. So uh, my DSA 450 solutions sheet is pending on my channel. So if I would have made that video I would just have referred to you like I did a day before for the burst balloon systems. But yes, since I have not made this video, I, I am getting busy these days. So let us see that how this question is done. And again, if you have solved this question, then the today's question would be would have been very easy for you. So let us see how this question would be approached. So uh, we have to find the second smallest with the given sum of digits as s and the number of digits as d. So I am saying that let's find first that uh, let's find the smallest number and then we can convert it to second smallest, right? So how can we find the smallest? So given this in uh, S and 2, S as 9 and D as 2, what should be the output? If you consider this here, then the output is 18, right? And the second smallest number converted from 18 is 27. So what I'm saying is, so let us start from the basic that how it is to be approached now. I need to find the smallest number which has the sum of digits equal to the given sum. What can I do here is, so let's say you have a number Let's say you have sum equals to 9 and digits equals to 2. So what is the possibility that you can form? You can form 1, 8, 2, 7, 3, 6, 4, 5 and then vice versa of this 5, 4 and then vice versa 6, 3 and 7, 2 and then again you can form 9, 0. You cannot form 0, 9, right? Because it will not be a less 2 digit number. It will be then 1 digit number, right? So what can I do here is, so now let us suppose one, one other test case. We will assume many test cases, test cases here so that we can derive and logic and code. So suppose the S is given as 36 and now what you can do and the D is given as let's say 4. You will have 4 spaces to fill. You can fill each one of them as 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. Then only you will get this sum as 36. Right? Right. So, but in this case you cannot make it the smaller. Right? You cannot change anything here because this is the largest possible number found with the 4 digits and you want the smallest one. So you cannot convert it to smallest. You cannot reduce reduce any digits in this four spaces because if you will do, then the sum will not maintain will not be maintained as thirty six. So that means a first constraint will be like if the sum is given greater than is equals to the number of digits required into nine. If it is good, if it is like this, then you have to return minus one. That is the answer is not possible. Let us see the different test cases. So let's say you have this s equals to twenty and then d equals to four. So we have four spaces. Right. So what I am saying is that let us start with the maximum digit from the rightmost to the leftmost because the rightmost is the least significant and the rightmost and the leftmost will be the largest significant digit because this will have the value of 10 power 1 and similarly this will have the value of 10 power 3. Weight is of 10 power 3. So let us fill here. So if I fill with the maximum one digit number it is 9 right. So 20 minus 9, 9 it, the remaining will be will be 11 I guess right so 11 minus 9 can again be filled so it will be 2 so if I fill 2 here then you can see that 9 plus 2 plus 2 is giving you as 20 but still I have one space left right and if I want to find the smallest number possible then the smallest digit possible for this first space could be 1 not could be it must be 1 right so that means what we have to do the first step is that you f subtract the your given sum with minus 1 and write it as uh, what's a what's a number is maintained that is 19 now try filling it again so the first number will be 19 it will do 19 minus 9 that will give you value as 10 then you will do 10 minus 9 and then you can again fill 9 here but now the remaining digit the remaining sum is just 1 right so will you will fill 1 here and and since you have done this minus 1 that indicates that you are placing this one here now you sum the digit it will be 20 and this is the this is the minimum uh, smallest number possible formed right similarly if you have s sum equals to 20 and d equals to 5 then you would have 1 2 3 4 5 spaces and similarly you have first uh, 20 converted into 19 which which would have which would have helped you to place the first cell as 1 and then rest of these fill fillings that the first it was 19 then it get converted into 10 
so 10 still has you can take 9 from 10 so you have written but now you just have one so write it one so what should you what should you fill in the in these gaps because there is no digits there is no sum remained so sum is zero right so let's fill this as the because zero is also a single digit right you can place it like this so if sum equals to 20 and d equals to 5 you can form the minimum possible number like this so let us start with the coding section now or uh, and also um, let us dry run the test case of this given as well so suppose n s equals to 9 and d equals to 2 so what you need to do is first of all you have to do as minus 1 you will uh, create it as 8 right you have two digits now so it will be 8 minus so you, you just have this sum 8 and you do not have 9 right so you just fill it whatever the possible value you have that is 8 now the sum has remained 0 right you cannot fill it 0 because it will be then the first uh, only single digit number and that is that is the reason we converted n uh, 9 this sum to minus 1 and we and we place that one here right and now you can see that 18 will be the smallest possible number right from here we need to find the second smallest possible number so let us first uh, let us code this first thing here and then we will see so how can we code it how can we code it right so first of all let me give you some uh, pseudo code as well so we will make a character array of d length right and now and what and what were the order which we were filling it we were filling filling from the rightmost to the leftmost so we will run a for loop from the rightmost itself that d minus 1 i greater than equals to 0 not greater than equals to 0 because we know what we need to fill in the 0th part so just greater than 0 and i minus minus right so if the sum if sum is what greater than 9 then fill that uh, let's say you have character array as answer then fill that ith answer as the character 9 right and do sum equals to sum minus 9 similarly in the else case if it is not if it is not uh greater than 9 then you have to take the exact exact digit right as you were doing it here it was not greater than 9 so you will take the exact digit right so what can i write here is that now the answer of i will be nothing but the uh nothing but the remaining s right and then for the next of the iteration we have to update s to 0 because you can see for the next of the places we were filling it 0 until and unless we reached i equals to 0 right and we have just iterating for i greater than 0 that is this for loop will not handle will not fill the first place so once this for loop is over we need to we need to fill our first place right so what can i what can i fill with my first places it will have one definitely because i subtracted what else it will have it will have s also because there would be there would be such a case that uh, uh, the digits the sum is still not uh, is still not uh, uh, vanishes it's still not vanished to zero right it's still not uh, completely uh, uh, dissolved let's say so what's the example can i uh, i can give you for that is so the example for that you can take is like this so let's say now n is e sum is equals to 35 and d is equals to let's say 4 so you'll have four places so first you will convert it to 34 and you'll have one to place here but not as of now so the 9 will be placed here 34 my uh, the 9 again 9 again until this till this point you will have the sum as 27 but you overall have the sum 34 so what will be the remaining remaining will be 34 minus 27 so don't mind my handwriting just follow the logic or use pen and paper for yourself so 34 minus 27 will be 7 right and you have one again for this thing so it will be updated to it and that is why i am using i am saying that the at the first entry would be updated to the character of 1 plus f. Let's code the solution. You, you pause this video now, give yourself to 5 to 10 minutes and code this approach and then come back to this video again because uh, this is a very, um, let's say, naive or easy. I have already explained this to the code, so let's not do the live coding and waste the time again. Okay, so let us do this. Okay, so I have ran the first step. You can see that the first part was to decrement it by 1, then made a character array, ran the for loop for the leftmost filling to a rightmost filling to the leftmost filling of a new number and we are doing it if it's greater than 9 then push the 9 in the character array else put the s and s and initialize s to 0 for rest of the following entries at the last initialize the first entry with the 1 plus the remaining sum and you can see i can i have printed it so for n comma 2 it is giving 18 right so we are on the right track we can also verify for other test cases as well that is it giving you the smallest number or not so we are done with the first step let us <coughs> proceed ahead and understand that how we can convert the smallest number into a second smallest number also i highly recommend you to think of think of this thing yourself 
and then maybe pause this resume this video in maybe five to ten minutes so let us start so i have mentioned the logic here so what we can do here is now that let's say suppose the sum was equals to 19 so for the first step was that we are converting 19 into 18 you know why and the d is given as 3 right so the smallest number formed will be 199 i hope you we are clear till this point so now i'm saying that we convert can we can convert into 289 how, how can i say that that first of all if you want to convert into the second smallest number or third smallest number you have to maintain the sum of digits uh, still equals to the given sum right so that means that if you are doing something at some particular digit as the minus minus then definitely in the left hand side on the right hand side you have to do plus plus so what i'm saying is that find the leftmost nine possible leftmost uh, nine uh, in in our in our this uh, string right and why leftmost nine because it will then have because the leftmost part is having the maximum weightage right so if you try to uh, do something do something in that then it would be like giving you the most smallest answer right right and why i'm saying that because then also you need to maintain this minus minus and plus plus so you can argue with me like bhaiya that 109 is there and i want to make the uh, smallest second smallest number then why not doing from the rightmost you cannot do it because <clears throat> if you do it then the the sum that the sum of the uh, the sum the in the sum which is given you you will not be able to maintain that right and first of all uh, this will never happen right that uh, uh, obviously you will have all the nines present from the uh, rightmost to a certain leftmost point right so find the leftmost nine there and you need to find that index once you get that index do minus minus there so it will be uh, this nine will be converted to it and since you have decremented it then you have to increment uh, any one of the digits to maintain the same so the most feasible way to just go one left behind that index and do plus plus right okay because in the right hand side you will always get 9999 nine, 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 nine. so doing plus one on that will give you some carryover and that will not and that that will go beyond the number of digits you have right now right if i do one one nine nine plus one then definitely it will uh, violate my second condition uh, not for this case but there may be cases like let's say 999 nine, nine. and if you do then if you increment something then it will definitely go D equals to 3 to d equals to 4 so that is why we are finding the leftmost line found find that index do minus minus just go left leftmost of that and do plus plus second thing is that uh, in some of the uh, answers you will not have nine you may not have nine in your smallest number right let's say for this example though the sum was given as nine and you have d equals to five so definitely you will be able to make the smallest number as one zero triple zero eight you know you know how to make that right okay so you don't have any you don't have any nine years so so now the least significant part will be the rightmost the rightmost part so if we are able to just increment it by one increment it by one since we want to make the minimum right so we will decrement it by one right and just the leftmost part will we will increment it by one if you do the vice versa you will get a more bigger number you can verify that as well so that's the logic here and that's how the first test case was also being handled so for s equals to 9 and d equals to 2 uh, two digits were coming as 1 and 8 so that's what we have to do that for no 9 present no other 9s present in our uh, smallest number you just have to place your index at this last pointer you have to do minus minus and then for the just left of the character do plus plus let's code this thing uh, you also try to code this thing and maybe try try dry running few test cases as well if you have any doubts regarding that bhaiya ni aise bhi to kar sakte the hai na to us cheez ko uh, like uh, the best way to uh, say that uh, if that approach is feasible or not you must uh, dry run some test cases at least right then only you will be able to make sure so let us let me code the second part as well and then we will move ahead okay so i have i have coded the second part as well the same thing which i was saying that i was traveling from the rightmost to the leftmost finding the leftmost line if it's if it is present there right Store that index else uh, uh, else if you do not find it you have to break right because in the leftmost if you are not finding any nine any nine right that means in the further left you will not get such nines there right so what i'm saying is uh, 
in this set you will be at this point and you will compare it is 9 or not right so if it is not 9 then it is guaranteed then the rest of these numbers will also be not equals to 9 so that is the case we are handling it using else break right the worst case will be o of d but this a small optimization so the same thing answer of index minus minus and under answer of index plus plus and you just have to then return since we have the character array to return it as string you have to use the inbuilt function string dot value also let us hit the submit button and while it is getting submitted the, the time complexity of this code is o of d we are running two two parallel for loops of o of d right and d you can see the constraint is 10 power 5 so definitely less than 10 power 8 and the code is successfully submitted also the space complexity of this problem is o of d because the string is immutable right so we could have make a string as an empty string but uh, we could have clearly achieved this first step using an empty string right but uh, then you have to do some manipulation on each and characters that is plus one and minus one so since string is immutable in java you cannot replace the character so that is why from the starting itself i have maintained the character array right so that is it for today's video let me give you the c plus plus code as well so that's the in the right hand side you have the java code which i explained you line by line and in the left hand side you can see the c plus plus code i can scroll it down for you so that you can have a good look so c plus plus you may be able to understand it uh, more uh, maybe in a good manner so let us end this video and i will resume this sheet here i i just want to um, make this sheet on my channel so i have already completed some of the rs question and some of the dp question and completed the recursion and i will go go next for go for the trees for the next thing so let us end this video uh, till then keep learning keep growing bye bye and take care